Yo, what's going on you guys? Gonna do a quick video, uh, my camera's about to die, and I'm in the garage, terrible lighting, and there's probably a bunch of uh, surrounding noises. So it might be hard to hear, but uh, I'm about to ship this out, so I just wanted to share it with you guys real quick. It is a Spyderco Domino that I finished up. Customer asked me to put a uh, titanium scale on it, so that's exactly what I did. I uh, just left it plain, no pattern in it, and I put, a, you know, I tried to put as even as a bevel as I could on the knife to just give it that real nice clean look. I'm trying to get you some, there we go. And I think it turned out nice actually. Um, for as shitty as a grinder as I use, um, the beveling and everything turned out really nice. So it fits the over the liner lock. I didn't do a liner delete just because this one's on bearings and it's a little bit difficult to you know accomplish that without the right tools but as you can see um, profile wise it turned out perfect I mean it's dead on in every single aspect and basically what I tried to do with this knife was I was really trying to get a uh, really dark finish and I don't know if it's gonna turn out well with this artificial lighting that I have in here but um, I really achieved it, I think. I usually just do a um, a sandblasted finish and then stonewash it, and it gets a good dark, um, you know, finish on the titanium. But I was looking for a little bit something extra, so I searched around and I tried a few things. And what wound up working the best is um, this OxyClean bath. Basically, you just boil some water and add OxyClean and dip the knife in, or just the scale. And take it out when uh, you know it's preferable, preferable, preferable to you. It kind of takes it through like almost the anodizing um, scale. It turns it like a bronze, and then it goes to like this crazy purpley blue, rainbowy, and then it kind of finishes off uh, with like this dark, you know, really nice dark cobalt gray. So once it hit that, I took it out and threw it in the stone wash, give it a really nice finish, and I think it turned out sweet. Um, I basically finished, refinished the uh, the frame lock side and the liner because they didn't match. So I wanted them all to match, and now they do, and it turned out really sick. Um, also, I uh, sandblasted the clip to get that black off, and the screws on the clip, and put a nice uh, acid washed, acid washed stone wash finish on the clip to try and just give it a nice little even look. And again, I think it turned out really nice. The Domino. Uh, Feels amazing and is a really great knife, especially with the you know different mods, uh, with the scale and whatnot. So that's really all I got. Um, thanks for watching. My camera's probably gonna die in a minute, so I'm just gonna keep talking until it does. If anybody's interested in having uh, work done on their Domino, shoot me a PM. Um, but better off, shoot me an email. I'll put it in the description. Um, it's a, probably on my profile somewhere as well. And uh, if I have time before the camera dies. I do have a few scales for the Domino still. Uh, both these are 40 bucks, if you would like. I just had them sitting around, kind of forgot about them. This one's a Camo G10 with a uh, toxic grade liner. Fits and looks perfect. And then this one is also a black and tan G10 with a, with a blue liner. And again, the lighting's so shitty in here, you might not be able to tell, but Check out my Instagram, I'll link that as well. I got a bunch of pictures. Um, these scales are perfectly working. They've just been sitting around. And then I also have this uh, titanium scale with a, with a with this dragon skin bolster. And the only caveat to this is it's a little bit, there's a little bit of material, just like a, the slightest, like a few millimeters, um, just extra taken off here. So there's like a little bit of liner that shows but it's really really only minute um if you're ocd about the, those things then you're it's not for you but if you're like me and don't really care then it'd be great for your knife and uh i'll sell this one for 55 bucks so hit me up if you guys are interested and thanks for watching i appreciate it looking forward to hear what you guys have to say hopefully you guys like the knife and uh i'll see you guys next time Peace.